In this video, we will discuss how we can construct a binary tree from a given in order and pre order traversal. So it can be done both recursively and iteratively. Here we will focus on the recursive method. So the goal here is given these two traversals in order and pre order, we have to construct a binary tree from this. So as we know that in order is left root and right and pre order is root left and then right. So the first node in the pre order traversal will always be the root node. So here you can see a is the root node. So if you have to construct a tree, so the first step simply can be we make the first node of the pre order traversal as the root node. Then the second step is we have to find this node in the in order traversal a is here. So all the nodes that are in the left of a in the in order traversal will be part of the left subtree and all the nodes in the right will be part of the right subtree. If we draw the tree like this. So now we have to do this for each of the nodes in the pre order traversal. So now we pick the second node which is D and we find it in the left subtree. So the left subtree is H D P and L. So D is here. So the left subtree will be H and the right subtree will be PL. So if we break this down, the root node is A, the next node is D, then the left of D is H and the right of D is P comma L. Now we pick the next node in the pre order traversal. Next node is H, but H is alone. So there is no need to break it down. So we pick the next node in the pre order traversal, which is L. Now L is part of this PL. Now left of L is P and right of L is null. So we'll further break it down to so this is L and left of L is P. Now we pick the next node in the pre order traversal. It is P. So P is already single. So there is no need to break it down. Then we pick the next node, which is Z. Now Z is part of ZCE. So left of Z is null and the right of Z is CE. So we further break it down. Now we pick the next node in the pre-order traversal, which is C. Now we have the CE to break. So if we break the CE, it will give us this tree. So this is the logic of creating the tree from the in-order and pre-order traversal. So we pick each node from the pre-order traversal and then we find its index in the in-order traversal. The nodes to left of that index will be part of the left subtree and the nodes to right of that will be part of the right subtree. So we do that for each of the nodes and that will give us the resultant tree. So now let's see how we can do this via recursion and see the pseudocode. So the first step of the algorithm is we keep a pre index variable which we initialize with zero. So this is the index of the pre order array that we have been given. So let's write down the indices here. Then we have this function construct in which we pass two parameters in start and in end. So these are the indices for the in order array. So the first call to this function will be from 0 to 7 because 0 is the starting index and 7 is the last index. We call this function construct for 0 comma 7. Then we compare this 0 and 7. So this is false. Then we create a new tree node with the 0th index of the pre order traversal. So 0th index of the pre order traversal is A. So node will be A. Then we increment the pre index. So it will be 1. We check if in start and in end are same. And then we search A in the in order traversal. So index of A in the in order traversal is 4. So the value of in index is 4. Then we call this function construct with the parameters 0 and 3. So from here we'll call construct 0, 3. So here the node value was A and in index was 4. And we created a new node with the value A. So let's create the new nodes here. So we call this function construct with the parameters 0 and 3. So in start will be 0 and in end will be 3. We compare this in start and in end and then we create a new node with the first index of the pre order traversal. So the first index of the pre order traversal is D. So we create a new node D. We increment the pre index. We compare start and end. And then we search D in the in order traversal. So index of D in the in order traversal is 1. So the value of in index is 1. And then we call this construct function with the parameters 0 and 0. So we call for construct 0 and 0. 
here the node was D and in index was 1. So now start and end both are 0 for the construct 0 comma 0 call. Now we create a new tree node with the second index of the pre-order traversal. Second index of the pre-order traversal is H. So we create a node with the value H. We increment the pre-index so it is 3. So now we compare start and end both are same. So we return node which is H. So from here we are returning H. So the control goes back to the construct 0 comma 3 in which the value of node was D. So the left of D is now H. So this link will join. And then we call for the right of D. So the value of in index at D was 1. So the first parameter is 2 and the second parameter is 3. So from here we call construct 2 comma 3. So in start is 2 and in end is 3. Now we create a new node with the third index of the pre-order traversal. Third index is L, so node will be L. We increment the pre-index, so it becomes 4. We compare start and end, and then we search the index of L in the in-order traversal. So the index of L is 3, and then we call this construct function for 2, and second parameter is also 2. So from here we are calling construct of 2 comma 2. Here the node is L, and the in index is 3. So now this call is for construct 2 comma 2. We construct a new tree node with the fourth index of the pre-order traversal. Fourth index is P. So node is pointing to P. We increment the pre-index. We check if start and end are same. So these are same. So we return P from here. So from this call we return P. So left of L is P. So we have to create two nodes which we forgot. So we created L and P. Left of L is P. So this link will join. And then the control goes back to this point where the node value was L and the in index was 3. So we call for in index plus 1 which is 4 and in end is 3. So now we are calling for right of L and the function call is construct 4 comma 3. So now start is 4 and end is 3. So now we come to this statement if start is greater than end. So we return null from here. So this function will return back. Control goes to L. So L is also done. So control goes back to node D. So now right of D will point to L. So this will join. So D also will terminate because we have this return node call here. So the control goes back to A. So left of A will be D. So this link will also join. So now control goes back to A. So now the value of node is A and the in index is 4. So now we have to call for right of A and the parameters are 5 and 7. So from here the call will go to construct 5 comma 7. So in start is 5 and in end is 7. We create a new tree node with the fifth index of the pre-order traversal. Fifth index is Z. So node will be Z and we create a new node. We increment the pre-index. We compare start and end. And we search Z in the in-order traversal. So the index of Z in the in-order traversal is 5. So we call this function for in start which is 5. And the second parameter is 4. So here node is Z and in index is 5. So now this is calling for 5 comma 4. So in start is 5 and in end is 4. When start is greater than end, we return null. So this function will return null. So then we'll call for right of z. So in index is 5. So first parameter is 6 and in end is 7. So from here we'll call construct for 6 comma 7. We create a new tree node with the sixth index of the pre-order traversal. So sixth index is C. So node becomes C and we create a new node. We increment the pre-index. We check if start and end are same. And then we search C in the in-order traversal. So the index of C in the in-order traversal is 6. And then we call for left of C. In start is 6 and second parameter is 5. So from here we call construct 6 comma 5. So now start is greater than end. So this will return. So now we have to call for the right of C. So in index is 6. So the first parameter is 7. And this in end is also 7. 
so from here we'll call construct seven comma seven so start and end are same now here we create a new tree node with the seventh index of the pre-order traversal which is e so node becomes e we increment the pre-index so it becomes eight if start and end are same we return the node so from here if we return e so here the node was c so right of c is e so this link will join so now this function called terminates at c we return to z so right of z is c so this link will join and from z this function call will return back to a so this link will also join and now the function terminates so this is the binary tree that we have obtained from these two traversals so the logic is the same we just pick a node from the pre-order traversal and find its index in the in-order traversal so first we pick a we find a in the in-order traversal this will be the left subtree and this will be the right subtree we do it recursively at each step we create new nodes and then we link the left and right pointers of that node the time complexity is order of n square it is because of this search step so at every step we are searching this entire array so in the worst case the time complexity can be order of n square so now we can make this more efficient by reducing its search step let's see how we can do that so in the efficient version of this recursive approach what we do is we create a map to efficiently find the in order index so we create a value to index map so it will help us to determine that h is at zeroth location d is at first location p is at second location l is at third location a is at fourth z is at fifth c is at sixth and e is at seventh so at this step when you to find the node index in the in order traversal we simply check the value in the map so if the value is z we come here we know the index is 5 so we return 5 so by building this map we reduce this search step to order of one complexity so by creating this map the time complexity of this algorithm becomes order of n so once we've understood this method let's try to implement this so all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i have these in order and pre order traversals that are provided then i create a value to index map for the in order traversal then i call this function construct tree in which i pass this two arrays this map a variable pre index which is initialized to 0 and the starting and end index for the in order traversal in this construct tree function i first check if start is greater than end then i create a new node value of which is pre order index then I increment the index, I check start and end are same. Then I find the index of that node in the in order traversal. Then using that index, I call the left and the right subtree. Then the main function, I get the root of the tree that was constructed. I pass this root to the in order and pre order traversal functions. So it is to confirm that the tree which we have constructed is right. So these in order and pre order traversal should match what was given to us in the question. Let's see the output of this program. So the tree has been constructed and the in order traversal is HTPLAZCE. So this is equal to what was initially given to us. So that was all for this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.